What is up everyone, this is MotoTorals here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows error that there was a problem resetting your PC, no changes were made, that may be possibly happening on your Windows device. So let's get right into this. There's a couple of ways you can kind of go about this, and I'm going to show you two methods that so far work for me and other folks that I've kind of like trialed this out on. So what you want to do is you want to go to your search bar and write CMD, and you want to run this as administrator. Don't do it normally because then it's possible that it might fail. So once you do this, you want to type in two commands. So the first one is region tech disable. So we're basically going to disable this first. Just let it kind of run its course and it'll kind of tell you, oh, it was successfully disabled operation successful. And then you want to en enable this back. So you want to press then now basically type it again, enable. So it's going to say similarly operation successful. So we're going to kind of go through this. Boom. You should now be able to kind of reset your computer successfully and not have this issue any longer. If this option doesn't work, what you want to do next is th this is the next command that you can try. You can close down CMD and open it again up if because obviously you're going to restart your computer or you're going to try to do the reset is essentially SFC slash scan now. Uh, this does take a very long time. It's going to take some, as it even says it, you got to wait for it to go from zero to hundred percent. And obviously I'm not going to wait that long for it, but it'll just tell you that let it completely go through 100%. You're going to open up CMD again while it's happening because you want to do these two simultaneously. And you're going to run a similar another command right next to it. Dissum online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health. You want to run that. And very similarly, it goes from 0 to 100% as well. Just kind of like let it do its process essentially similarly like i said that's why you open up another cmd so let both of these run and just kind of like let it run its course and then you should be kind of good to go from there then if you want to reset your pc you should be able to successfully reset your pc not get this issue any longer and you should be kind of good to go from there so yeah there, there is a third method that it's a little bit weird i if you guys need, does this does not work i'll kind of alleviate to that but this most of the time works the other one is because you have to download a software and kind of go from there prefer you guys not to do that i don't prefer that <laughs> but let's just kind of try these out Hopefully it works and you guys are good to go. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, more tutorials out. Peace.